Jeffrey needs to be overstimulated. Just one video on Pornhub isn't enough. He needs to open five tabs and he flicks between them with the audio on of all of them at the same time. Adonis looks at him with disappointment. Is this what modern men are like? Jeffrey doesn't care. He's about to nut at the moment of climax, not even after Jeffrey's negative thoughts kick in. He feels shame, guilt, defeat. He feels like a loser. He's already regretting the decision. But within just a few seconds of busting a nut, Jeffrey opens Valorant on his gaming PC because he needs more and more stimulation. We, as young men are tired of being like Jeffrey. We strive to be like Adonis because whilst Jeffrey is destroying his brain, Adonis steps out into nature. He experiences joy, bliss, presence and gratitude. He understands how important downtime is. He understands how detrimental technology and overstimulation are. We need to become more like Adonis. You know when I was down in the depths of overstimulation, of smoking weed all day and waking up and fucking lighting the crack pipe every morning, hopping onto my PC and just loading up some random YouTube videos to chill out to in the fucking morning, bro. Like, why are, you, why are you trying to chill out when you just woke up? Doing that for literally like two hours fucking around on like Reddit and stuff. Then my girlfriend would wake up and then we'd just play fucking computer games and just eat snacks all day. Fucking hell, what a disgusting time, bro. I remember at that time, videos about dopamine detoxing were popping off on YouTube. And before everyone starts spurging out, the dopamine detoxing is inside. Shut the fuck up. It's not site. It's not site. Who gives a fuck? The real site. Who cares, bro? I've seen like articles and YouTubers trying to be like edgy, be like, oh, but that's not actually the real science. Dopamine actually Shut the fuck up, bro. Who the fuck said I was like a real fucking scientist, bro? Come on. But these videos were popping off at the time, and it was this concept of taking a big step back away from overstimulation, especially shit like on the internet, like social media and porn and drugs. To take a big step back on that, to allow yourself to be bored and to spend more time into nature. And that was a beautiful message. And so I implemented it. I moved back home to my parents' house. I literally like moved and broke up with my girlfriend so that I could implement this. And I kept my dopamine detox lifestyle up for a solid year. And it was a pretty damn strict year. Just recently, Recently, I did a collaboration with another YouTuber and, and very successful entrepreneur named Iman Gadzi. And he spoke previously of his like dopamine detox monk mode lifestyle. This is a very, very successful wealthy guy. His net worth is like 10 million. And the video that I watched of him that really got him onto my radar, which made me message him, was a video on monk mode where he goes through like his dopamine detox lifestyle of living in periods of very, very focused on particular business tasks and taking a huge step back away from all of the distractions of the modern world. Iman does around six months of focused monk mode per year and the other six months is split between enjoying himself, partying and where work takes like a fifth priority and then three months to kind of like, you know, recover and like get back into the groove to get ready for the next six months of monk mode. I think structuring your life something like this is so incredibly important in the modern day because if you haven't set up your lifestyle and your environment to push you towards success, you'll be pulled into any random direction. And I actually saw this firsthand with Iman. Now you might expect me to do like a normal person's collaboration where you kiss their ass the truth is i went there and i saw like wait this motherfucker is like a lot more distracted than i actually thought he would be like he's on the phone all of his time and you know he's messaging some girl on like instagram and there's parties and like there's a dinner party you know you know there's fucking, like lots of stuff happening when i speak to him about it and i asked him you know what's your lifestyle here his words was i hate it here i hate it in dubai and this is a guy who's living in like the nicest fucking, most expensive part of dubai he says i hate it here there's too many distractions so going from what i believe is like one of the most wealthy places on earth i lived at his place so just after I left, like one or two days later, he flew over to Cape Town in like a remote place so that he could focus and enter his monk mode period. The truth is that no matter how focused you think you can be, if you're in an environment which is distracting, if you're around like the party lifestyle, if you've got your know, girls who are messaging you, your work rate is going to be reduced. And it takes so much humility to be able to admit that and say like, you know what, like I'm getting distracted here. I remember watching a video of Iman's months ago. We even mentioned that same video in one of my older videos, him explaining his monk mode protocol. And it's similar to the things that I've said previously, which is like meditate every day and you know reduce your screen time and everything but he gave very like autistic level tips i fucking love that he gave like autistic level practical tips which i fucking love and still to this day i have it my ex-girlfriend just messaged me that's a fucking distraction bro go away mary <laughs> <laughs> and so still to this day, I've implemented like the autistic tip that he gave on his video, which is to have like the screen time widget on the face of your, the homepage. So you see it straight away. And mine's not looking that great. I was like, I'm not even gonna try and hide it from you. In three hours and 34 minutes today. To be fair, a lot of it is like productive shit. And then the YouTube was, um, I can't even remember, bro. Was I spurging out before? Hamza's <laughs> a fraud. <laughs> I'm not, you know what? I'm, not, I'm actually gonna show you this. Didn't even plan to like talk about this, but um, yesterday my screen time was eight hours and 56 minutes. Pretty much nine hours. I wasn't actually 
gonna talk about this. this this video just went like a completely different direction but yesterday my entire family was having like a violent argument everyone screaming swearing and everything i'm usually in bed at like 7 p.m i was up till like 12. i wasn't even involved like i literally just sat upstairs but it was one of those like i didn't even bother going to try to go to bed because i knew i would and the inside of me was like in fight or flight i was literally like you know ready for a fight and everything and i wanted to just read like i like to like end the night off with like 7 p.m just like lying down reading and i knew that i wouldn't be able to focus or anything so i literally just spent like five hours just here just flicking through like instagram and youtube like fucking reels and you know like waste of time jeffrey shit. i guess it really does link into the video that we're talking about here because distractions can come from your loved ones and it's interesting that like i was really so aware of this yesterday it was kind of painful to experience this but is this concept of like if you have a family that's like arguing and everything you're so much more likely to just consume yourself with like stimulating apps because it's just so much easier to like you know scroll through instagram and just be a fucking zombie or to play video games when shit around you is like really kicking off and you know the people you love are all arguing with each other that's the worst like my phone time has been in probably since i've been tracking the screen time like nine hours yeah that's sad man i'm glad that i have a level of accountability authenticity and honesty to just say this to like i don't know 50 000, 100 000 people watching this and when i've told you oh yeah like you know i don't use technology much and i've just showed you the proof like i just used my phone for nine hours yesterday because i want you to know like yeah like i promote the dopamine detox lifestyle and even iman it does as well but you can see like it is sometimes it is like hard to practice what you preach of course you know it's the intention that we set but life like even being the leader of like the movement and stuff like life can really fuck you so i can't imagine how hard it is for someone who doesn't have that level of accountability and so you really do have to give yourself every advantage that you can the big one for iman is the location that he's at because he's a very like social guy and so if he's in a place like dubai and he was saying like you know that's the place that everyone goes he said that he'll constantly get like invites to go to dinner or go to a party and everything and so he's very aware of them that's why he was like gonna go take some months in like a very different place where he's gonna be like more low-key being aware of the things that distract you is so so important what is causing you to overstimulate yourself now we can think of the obvious answers which is like oh you know youtube is i, I do too much youtube i watch too much instagram reels but the truth is generally that over consumption of like the internet and even drugs it's because we want to hide from something we use that as an escape the best entrepreneurs the most successful people the people who are most driven don't want to escape from reality in fact you know what they might do because i said they don't want to escape but then i started envisioning michael jordan i started envisioning like you know the big athletes and some successful businessmen the truth is that their lives aren't like perfect you know they're not like some random like usually those people suffer quite a lot they've been through some shit what's interesting is that they escape with their craft that's such a fucking good point the most successful amongst us still suffer they still have like environments which aren't actually you know perfect for success but they choose to escape in productivity or creating something or mastering a craft instead of mindless stimulation your life isn't going to be perfect the environment around you is probably going to be always at least somewhat distracting what truly matters is what you do to escape from that because the overwhelming majority of people the average man will watch porn and play video games just one hour a day watch fucking youtube videos self-improvement oh jeffrey shut up you have important work to do right now yet you're sat here watching me feeling productive because oh but i'm learning shut up bro no you're not unless you take action on some specific tips videos like this are just another form of escape that's such a nice tip by the way put your screen time widget on the home page of your phone the video of iman where he spoke about this random tip and he gave like a bunch of other tips on productivity monk mode stay in focus i'll link it in the description below so scroll down right now click on that top link in the description and you can watch it for yourself click on the share button underneath this video and send it to a jeffrey friend who keeps overstimulating himself you might save his life do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.